Hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans, as well as new players, to this amazing franchise. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then, we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games, all while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. Throughout Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at the press of a button, Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around you, or Lonnie Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. What we can tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Any level that you can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. It was also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the story this time as well. 
But that's not all. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives and new gameplay. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neocortex. He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. I repeat, you get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. And a lot has changed in the years since we last Dingo Dial. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into another dimension. Finally, there's one more surprise I'm incredibly excited to show you today. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. It's our souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not only are perspective shifted, but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience. One dimension could be asking you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path forward. We've even got one that feels like an old-timey movie, with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. Once unlocked, players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists out there, a reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experiences in store for them. So that's some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Experience the space and time-bending madness on October 2nd. Today's state of play is loaded with third-party updates for PS4 and PSVR, and some new PS5 gameplay too. We open the show with an all-new look at Crash 4. It's about time, coming to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. Now let's keep the party going with the latest from IO Interactive.
we are happy to announce Braid Anniversary Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Many areas have been re-envisioned to make them more unique, and it's even more like a living painting with brush strokes animating the world. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, programming, and visual art. We plan to make it the most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games are made, Braid Anniversary Edition will be a really good resource. We hope you'll enjoy the game when it comes out early next year. is a mythic adventure set on a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. The Pathless is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter, the hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the pathless. So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. With help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathless. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. Make sure you pet the eagle to keep it clean and in good flying condition. You'll find secrets all over the island, if you know where to look. Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. You will also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Pathless is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Stay still in the light to avoid detection. You won't be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. When the 
obelisks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic final battle. will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. We've only scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore and discover. The Pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. Let's see what's in store for Spelunky 2. Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Spelunky. For Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer, so that more people can play the game together. And I also wanted to include that feeling of community into Spelunky 2 itself to make sure that the game felt welcoming even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game community and family. I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's going to feel a lot more full. Players will be able to explore and interact with it in lots of new ways. For example, you'll be able to ride turkeys, and find hidden passageways, and you'll have to choose between branching paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still have interesting runs that don't even go past the first area. In Spelunky 1, runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. So in Spelunky 2, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest secrets. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know about. And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players can use to push past the boundaries of what we, as the developers, know about the game. I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. And second, the ones where people shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. These are the stories I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. They're really what guided my design choices. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept and the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky 2 comes out, I want players to experience what we experienced making it. That feeling that there's something special there waiting for you to discover it. A big thanks to the fans who've waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. 
It's been a long journey, but I think it's going to be worth it. Thanks. Got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin Impact. Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. You cannot bring yourself to kill. Speak my name. What is this disturbance to which I awaken? Huh? huh? Think you can get away? Verdict is... Time for takeoff! Bug snacks. Let's check out some gameplay footage captured from PS5. 
My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Bugsnag. Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist! Don't tell me you actually believe this half-baked nonsense. I swear, if you chase this Bugsnag story, you're out of a job! You're the journalist! Lisbert said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Do me a favor and take my snack trap. Uh, stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Use it to lead the bunger over yonder. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Obs. How's my little sprout doing? He misses Papa. Oh, of course he does. Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. You're pretty good at stuff, and nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Well, say you do find these bug snacks and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff. There's a lot more in store. Let's start with an update on an eagerly awaited PlayStation VR game. is strong with you. You must stop Vida. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the force. Whatever you do, stay in the light.
now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. We are the forest shadows. Ghosts running silently between the straight, cold lines of a corrupt state. Quiet and long, don't shed a tear. They count, ration, manipulate. There's a wolf in the night and he's talking They've taken everything from those they claim to protect. When the states move, ravage and Authority and steel life. will not stop us. We aren't an invading we army. We are wraiths. We bypass defenses and strike at the heart. The ghost of the forest, the wraiths of the land. Don't pick twice, he'll be by your side. Stag on his paper, it's the arch he's at. We take back what was stolen. When the hoods both lie. And the people call us heroes. From the dead. To others, we are rivals. We are all outlaws. But some of us will become legends. When hurts both flies from the day of Before we wrap up, let's take a tour of Godfall. We've got new PS5 gameplay for this melee-focused action epic launching this holiday. Hello, my name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. Today you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. Please enjoy. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment-to-moment -moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. You can enjoy the game at your own pace, playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, air, and fire. Godfall is a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions, no waiting for content. It's all in the game 
on day one. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. Our game is therefore one part gear driven and one part player skill driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment or mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there are five weapon classes. The longsword, the dual blades, the polearm, the two-handed warhammer, and the two-handed greatsword. Each weapon class has their own unique movesets and play styles ranging from fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. As you defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, each weapon with their own primary and secondary traits. At a later date, we will delve into the weapon classes and how to modify them in greater detail. For now, we'll go over the dual blades, and longsword weapon classes. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall, embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. You can perform a combo by executing four consecutive light attacks. The dual blades heavy attack is a spinning blade cyclone. The blade cyclone can also be used as a finisher at the end of your light attack combo. So what are the signature moves for the dual blades? As you build up charge, you can also activate inner focus, which is unique to the dual blades, which inflicts massive damage in a short period of time. There's also mortal coil, where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you, like pulling a cable. Now let's switch to the longsword weapon class. Longswords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate combo setups. Similar to dual blades, longswords have their own four hit light attack combo. Then there's the heavy attack finisher, which can be used at the end of your light attack combo. There are three signature moves for the longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. Notice there's a white flash after a longsword swing called a timing attack. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. The shield is a core part of Godfall. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. You can perform a light attack after a last second shield block to counter attack with a powerful shield strike. The shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. 
you can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. And of course, you can perform an R3 ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. We hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the PlayStation 5. We also want to thank all the fans for their endless support since our initial reveal back in December. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. That's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this peek into the future of PlayStation. See you next time. PlayStation.